Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 21st of June uh, 2018 and the time has just gone 11.35 British summer time. This week's Chart of the Week is the gold market. And gold has fallen to a fresh six month low on the strength of the US dollar. Uh, there's traditionally been an inverse relationship between the gold market and the US dollar and given that the US dollar index has reached an 11 month high, it's no surprise that, that gold is under pressure. So we've, we've fallen to a level not, not seen since December in fact, last year. Only yesterday, uh, Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, stated there's a case to be made for additional tightening uh, for, uh, in terms of interest rates in the United States. And that now the speculation, there's continued speculation, we could see two more rate hikes from the Federal Reserve this year. Keep in mind, we've already seen two so far. There's already chatter that we could see another rate hike from the Fed in September and also one in December. But this is obviously dependent on the economic situation in the US and also what's going on with the potential trade war. So taking a look at the price action of gold since, since April, we can see it's been in a classic example of a downward trend. Uh, we can see the first leg lower here, lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, and then yet again another lower low. So it's a textbook example of a downward trend in the gold market. Uh, if you take a look at the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, we can see that the momentum has, has turned negative and it's actually increasing. So as the gold market is driving lower, we can actually see an increase in selling pressure. So the, at the time being, the momentum is with the bears. So if, it could, if, if the gold market does continue to push on lower from here, we could looking, look, look at a targeting 1250 uh, or indeed the December low of 1236. And if you go beyond that, we could be looking heading back down towards the 1220 region or per, perhaps even as low as 1204. If you do see any pullbacks uh, in, in the gold market, uh, resistance could come into play in around 1284, this high here only, only a few sessions ago. And if you go beyond that, I know to keep an eye out for will be, will be this red line here, the 30 moving average, which comes into play at 13.05. And notice how the 30 moving average acts as both support and resistance in recent weeks. Uh, when a market, when an indicator has acted, recently acted as support and or resistance, it makes it the more likely uh, it will do so in the near future. And if you take out uh, 13.05, the eternity moving average, the next year to keep an eye out for will be the, the high of May in mid-May at 13.26. And if we go beyond 13.26, that could be an indication that the, the recent downward trend in gold has come to an end. And if we go beyond 13.26, the next year to keep an eye out for will be the 13.35 region. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.